this, 50 grams. Also sometimes for these weights, they have like, this is a 20 gram weight, you can see, and this one's a 20 gram weight with a dot next to it. You have to make sure that you uh, log that information. Oh really? Yeah, your weight's used. So oh, they okay. know exactly, like this is the weight set, you use these specific weights. Gotcha. Just corner tests, so upper left, upper right, mm -hmm. center. And for these guys, they're real sensitive. That's why I have these glass like containers, because even a little bit of the air pressure is going to mess it up. Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. Oh, I like that even better. So if it wasn't passing and you put that in, would it turn red or something? Yes. Okay. So let's say. Gotcha. Okay. It's, it's not going to like it if um, it's out. Sometimes, though, you have to be careful because it won't let you know. Really? Yeah, like, um, you know, just like some uh, electronic error or something like that. It hmm. just, so it'll take it as passing? It'll take it as passing, and then it'll be like, this is completely incorrect. Really? So don't trust that, basically. Well, I wouldn't trust anything. I'd always, like, want to make sure that it's correct, correct, because... Mm -hmm. They give you like your lower and your upper limit. It's like 0.05 grams. Gotcha. These are like these are uh, analytical balances, so they want to be as precise as possible. Even on met teams, it's up to six decimal points, but on here it's only four. Mm -hmm. So I actually don't know if I can even change it. Let's see. So this one's an old school one where it prints out everything that happens. Oh, okay. So I just wanted to see what it would look like if I were to go into the adjustment screen. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, would you like to make an adjustment? It's like, no, not really. And then because I did that, it gave me like the, Let you afforded your adjustment. Gotcha. This is pretty simple standard stuff. So these are just the corner tests. It's 25% of like the max capacity. Mm -hmm. um, it really just depends on the actual things. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And then you wanna make sure that it zeroes out properly for your repeatability. Does it zero out properly? Stuff. This isn't really a good one to test, but sometimes you'll have to use like a bunch of weights. Say it's like to 15 kgs them. and you yeah. have to use like different sets. You want to try and stack them in the middle, or just like close to the middle as possible, and mm -hmm. just like go tower it up without gotcha. you know, being, being like leaning the tower of pizza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you want to be as close as possible. What I like to do as well is that if I do use a weight, angle it a little bit so I say like, oh this is the ones I use mm -hmm. I'll just log it later so you like how you said you have to document which one you're using are you talking about under reference materials yeah okay so um actually Let's, let's let me show you. So it'd be like labor, no, it's not standards and accreditations, right? Or is it under notes? Yeah, so it'd be in the notes section and then for the general, because the general is the one that prints out on the cert. Okay. And then it'd be like weights used. 
list them and they've got initial and all that stuff too. Gotcha. Make sure to do all that. I'll, I'll run down with all the tabs af afterwards. Okay. But um, I just take the data first and then after the fact I'm good. So I already did a center test for my 50 gram. It was 50. You can reuse that information twice if you want to, if you want to be cheeky about it. Because uh, sometimes you have to do 48 different weights and analytical balances in one day, and it's, it's a little time consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a client site who remembered only analytical balances and scales done. That's all I did for three days. Really? Well, yeah, now I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for this one, it's like, oh, I have to hit 150. Just use the 100 and 150. Nice little tower. Oh, so you don't stack them next to each other? Um, you can if there's like a bunch of them. I just try to like tower it up. As, gotcha. As kind of possible. Then you get a nice round number like that and you can't beat it. What's the max weight for this scale? About 211. Okay. It'll let you know on the side. But we have all this info. 